Good morning. It is a beautiful Saturday morning here in the Reno area. And I figured I'd make a quick video. There's a lot of things that happened and I haven't made a, a Kovi update video in a while. So a lot has happened since the last time I made this little uh, vlog video. So, <laughs> where should I start? Um, let's see. So I took the family to Yellowstone. Um, over the summer and uh, that was awesome I uh, worked with the guys at four-wheel campers they lent me uh, a media vehicle 3500 Ram turbo diesel with a pop-up truck camper in the back and had an awesome time up in uh, Yellowstone so that was awesome and uh, I got a bunch of videos on that if you haven't seen them already if you haven't noticed um, when COVID-19 hit um, everything shut down, economy shut down, businesses shut down, and everybody, for a lot of people, not everybody, but a lot of people had to stay home. So everybody was electing to ride bikes. The, who would have known the bike industry would have boomed in 2020 because of the COVID-19 thing. So yeah, if you notice that all the different bike shops around your town, at least here in my town in Reno, there was no bikes anywhere. I mean, for a few months there, there was literally zero. And there's still pretty much nothing in the affordable price range. But you go to Walmart, all the cheap bikes, they were all gone. Uh, and then you go to like the sporting goods stores. Um, we got a, over here we have th something called Shields. There's um, Dick's Sporting Goods. Yeah, all the sporting goods shops that are, you know, just above big box stores, none of their 300 to $800 bikes are available. They're all gone. And then the uh, only thing left was like, you know, the really high-end stuff, you know, like two thousand, three thousand, five thousand, eight thousand, ten thousand dollar bikes, those were available. <laughs> so I noticed on Facebook Marketplace that people were just selling bikes like crazy, getting a good profit, flipping old bikes. So if you had an older bike, uh, or you had a lot of bikes, and you just wanted to thin the herd and make some money, there was a hot market on the uh, Facebook Marketplace, and of course, Craigslist and other um, online um, marketplaces as well. Well, basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to give my old mountain bike to my son because he's getting bigger now so he could have a full size 26 inch mountain bike instead of a BMX bike. And then I figured I'd go get me something. And I found this right here on Facebook. So what this is, is a 2010 specialized stump jumper comp, aluminum frame, full suspension. It's the older, you know, 2010 model so it has the 26 inch wheels um, and the the three sprockets up front which is not really normal nowadays nowadays everything is a single single chain ring up front with a 10 11 or 12 speed in the back this one's a little bit more old school 27 speeds three chain rings up front and um, what is it nine in the back I think it is but it's still very competitive you know even 10 years later this thing is still pretty badass. I mean, let's point out some of the cool things that still hold um, hold their ground today, 10 years later. Fox suspension. That's nice. So, even though this is a 2010, back in 2010, this was top-of-the-line stuff. Adjustable Fox air shocks in the back for compression and rebound dampening, which is pretty awesome. This design still used, by the way, today. This, this geometry setup and then Fox um, 32s up front 32s that's the, di the uh, diameter of the stanchions that gold part right there and uh, these are also adjustable for compression and rebound dampening with the red and blue dials right there um, they make bigger ones too you know they make a 36 and a 40 I think 40s are for, usually for like downhill Big, humongous disc brakes. These are hydraulic disc brakes. They're avid elixirs. You can tell they're hydraulic because there's no cables. It's just fluid in there, just like on a motorcycle. The uh, disc brakes are pretty big. I forgot how many millimeters these are. Let's see if I can see what it says here. I think it, I think they are 180 millimeters. I think they are. The wheels are. Uh, they're marked. I think they're marked. Yeah, DT Swiss made in Switzerland so I'm not a hardcore biker but 
that seems like a good thing if it's made in Switzerland. <laughs> Double walled aluminum, specialized branded wheels, 26 inch. Yeah, nowadays everything is 27.5 or 29. So this is definitely getting phased out in the in the industry. But I think these are going to make a comeback because millions of people grew up on 26 inch wheels, and um, I just like everything in life, what's old becomes new again, and I'm pretty sure. 26 inch wheels will make a comeback in the future and everybody's going to be wanting these old school sizes they're hard to find parts for now though like to get 26 inch tires it's just really hard these are brand new kenda uh nevigal x x what are they x pros i think they're called brand spanking new i just bought them they're like 50 dollars each actually they're like 60 dollars each so they're kind of pricey again probably because 26 inch is not a popular size anymore but they're brand spanking new super grippy i like the compound on these and um, shimano cranks uh what is that origin eight stem with carbon fiber spacers i swapped out the um, original handlebars bars because they, they were really narrow back in 2010 the, bar, the bars were still pretty narrow if you look at these they're crazy wide i think these are 800 millimeters so might be the widest you can get a lot of people will cut them down to whatever they like 700 650 whatever but um i like it because when you're nice and wide like this it feels like you're in really good control nice and wide especially when you're taking turns and stuff shifters are pretty awesome still even after 10 years these are shram x7 um, thumb shifters I kind of like that the shifters are on the thumb only. I know some guys like to trigger up front and then thumb on the bottom. But I kind of like these. They're growing on me for sure. Of course, they're SRAM, so they're um, really good components. You can bang through the gears pretty quick, reliably. And it's a good solid bike. And I, I paid uh, 600 bucks for this thing. Um, brand new back in 2010 this thing was over two thousand dollars msrp and uh yeah i mean i love it it gets me out exercising getting the cardio up it, you can explore throw it in the back of the truck or the camper and just go explore uh, your campsites it's a good get around town you know get around the neighborhood with the kids bike too i mean it is full suspension so this thing is still very capable even though this is not the trend for modern bikes pretty awesome um, demand is so high on bikes right now I could probably flip this thing right now because I already paid to have a shop um, tune up the uh, air shocks so brand new seals uh, and tune up job on the uh, front and rear shocks so like I said I, I could probably flip this right now because demand is so high especially for full suspension bikes I could probably flip this for easily get my money back 600 bucks no problem probably seven or eight hundred bucks depending on how much of a fan people are of specialized stump jumpers because the stump jumper name has been around since the 90s that i can remember i remember uh, back in the 90s seeing stump jumpers and uh, they may have been around even in the 80s i don't know but definitely a, a tried and true company for sure <laughs> bikes are in high demand right now uh, pretty cool right um, I know there's a whole bunch of other things going on in the world, but I just wanted to keep it keep it um, simple and positive. Uh, yeah, there were the, the debate the debates are going on right now, and Trump got COVID nineteen, so <sighs> riots and Antifa and BLM and all that crap is going on. But I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> we'll save that for another video. So the suspension on this bike is amazing. Even though it's ten years old, it can be adjusted to be either basically locked out like a hardtail completely locked out for going uphill or you can start to open up those valves in the suspension and start making it um, absorb small bumps and rebound quickly or rebound slowly however you want to do it this thing is completely adjustable so I have it set up right now to just be a downhill bomber and just be like riding on a a flying carpet basically <laughs> this thing is bouncy 
but uh, just for fun, you know, just to cruise around and be plush. It's pretty awesome. But yeah, that's just a quick look at my uh, specialized stump jumper 2010. Pretty awesome bike. If you have a bike, be happy you got one. Um, probably going to be hard to get one unless you want to wait weeks and or months. But yeah, if you have a bike, get out and ride it. Enjoy it. Invest in it. Upgrade. Put some new tires, new handlebars, new seat, whatever. All right, guys. Hit that like button to support my channel. I appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about my 2010 Stump Jumper Comp full suspension of hydraulic brakes. What do you guys ride? Did you uh, take advantage of the time off from work? A little extra Trump money and the fresh air and ride? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.